for your commute this morning. More than a million of us ride metro buses and trains mm -hmm. every month, and a whole lot of us are leaving things behind. It's more than just lost keys and lost cell phones. So we sent out NBC 4's McCullough Medina to track down where all these lost items go. You're going to be really surprised to hear what McCullough found. Good morning, Mac. Hey, good morning, guys. Good morning, everybody. It is hard to believe a million people ride Metro each month and 200,000 things in that time period is left behind by them on those trains and buses. And this is where they actually end up, most of them, at this Metro Lost and Found building. We found some strange things inside of there, including the most common thing that Metro has found. Sometimes the hustle, people are distracted and bustle. It's packed, people squeezing in. Of riding Metro. I always lose water bottles. It can be rough. When you're carrying your life with you, your phone, your keys. But even the best wide-eyed, cautious rider. Usually I always check my belongings before I leave, so I do that double take. Sometimes forgets. It always takes me like five blocks from getting off the Metro to be like, and this is where a lot of what's left behind ends up. Backpacks, bags, purses. Shelf after shelf of lost and forgotten items that line the aisles at Metro's Lost and Found in Lincoln Heights. This is a weed whacker. A small two-person team processes between 1,200 and 1,500 items found daily on buses and trains. There's plenty of school books and lots of keys. And check out all the smartphones that occupy nearly its own aisle. Top of the list of weirdest things would be dentures. Kenneth Edmondson just joined Metro a year year ago and has already seen a lot of strange things come through. Uh, prosthesis. Yeah, a person actually left behind a prosthetic leg, and this wasn't the first time. They also get a whole bunch of hearing aids, instruments, and even a life-size stuffed miniature pony. The office named it Duke. We think we're going to claim it as our mascot. We have a puppy. Well, wait, whoa. We don't take puppies. <laughs> Vanessa Smitty is the director of Metro's customer service and has seen it all, even finding a police ankle bracelet monitor. And it was still blinking. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe one that got away. But the biggest found items at Metro are bikes. So we're seeing a variety of, of all types of bikes. She's showing us around where Metro stores all the bikes. Over 500 bikes a month. Only about 20% are ever reclaimed by owners. Clock is ticking because we keep these articles and bikes for 90 days. Then they send them off to auction. But if you lost one, reclaiming is pretty easy. Go to the Metro website, start a claim by processing the lost item, when you might have lost it, and on which line. And if you have a photo, well, that's even better. One thing left behind that really baffles Metro the most, wheelchairs. People board the bus and they walk off leaving their wheelchair, so. Call it a Metro miracle. That may be a testament to how good our service really is. <laughs> By, those way, by the way, the wheelchairs are actually only held for 90 days as well before they're also sent off to auction. They really encourage people to go to the website and make a claim, especially if they have a picture that makes things move a whole lot faster. Live at Metro, I'm Akala Medina. Now back to you.